addition to the new UI, you'll notice a few changes to the timeline. First, you longtime Avid editors will love that the good old extract and lift buttons are back. To extract a clip, use your trusty scissors, and to lift a clip, the famous weightlifter is back to do the job. He looks a little trimmer, if you ask me. Changes have also been made to the timeline that change the way you select segment in trim modes. Instead of choosing modes on the Smart Tool, these options have now been moved to selectable buttons on the Timeline Toolbar. You can select the segment mode by right-clicking the Segment Mode button. If you select the red arrow only, the Segment Mode button will be set to Lift Overwrite, which replaces a section of the sequence with the selected source material. If you select the yellow arrow only, the segment mode will be set to Extract Splice In, which inserts the marked source material into the sequence without replacing material already in the sequence. If you select both arrows, the segment edit depends on which region of the segment in the timeline that you activate. For example, if you place your cursor at the top part of the segment in the timeline, you'll be in Lift Overwrite Mode and if you place the cursor at the bottom of the segment in the timeline, you'll be in Extract Splice In Mode. You can select the Trim Mode by clicking the Trim Mode button. If you select one red roller only, the Trim Mode is set to Overwrite Trim, which creates a single roller trim and adds a black segment to fill duration of trimmed frames. If you select the yellow roller only, the Select Mode is set to Ripple Trim, which creates a single roller trim with no sync lock and maintains the duration of all other clips. If you select both rollers, the trim mode depends on the region in the segment of the timeline that you activate. For example, if you place your cursor at the top part of the segment, you'll be in overwrite trim mode, and if you place the cursor on the bottom part of the segment, you'll be in ripple trim mode.